Hello everyone, I'm back again with another tutorial on SEL. Let's start uh, with SEL and we have been uh, doing some rule of assignment uh, in our last video. We will continue from there on. And if you guys have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe this uh, channel and like this video. Okay, so let's get started with our projects and see what you can do today. Uh, does that matter? Okay, perfect. We are logged in now. We have assigned rule. You see, we have an assigned rule system here. So let's go ahead and by default, we will have assigned rule. So it's really important video. I hope you guys can understand it. Uh, okay, so we have assigned rule here. We have a select option for the rules. Okay, so for uh, the time being, what we have to do is we have to make a selected okay rule dot rule ID. So what we are going to do, we are going to have assign the first of the rule ID. Okay, so from here we are getting the rules. So what I will be doing is that I will assign this dot data dot. Uh, rule ID and we are going to assign the first uh, rule so rest of data and zero and then I uh, we can say rule ID so we will get an error in case if we don't have any data so let's go ahead and uh, uh, check the length first so and then actually in case never ever in uh, access any index like this directly because you will get an, an, an get an error no matter what programming language you use so always uh, you need to do a check whether you have the length of this array or not okay okay so let's go ahead and check this out mm. okay we need to see if it has assigned or not so let's do a console dot log this dot data dot rule id okay it says null so that's okay so get rules we have uh, uh, okay so it's not rule id it's actually id instead of rule id so yeah and let's check out we do we need to pass this way um, yeah so we don't need a uh, we don't need something like this we can call it just id and the key value for here we can call it as id as well so everything here is just like this okay now let's uh, refresh this page again uh, the thing I'm looking at should be currently the first rule so what is the first rule here the first rule is admin so the ID one should be uh, there so this is what I'm trying to do rest of general length so it should okay I have changed the ID here so it should be just hard enough so I should see admin here perfect so I can see the admin here by default so that's awesome now let's uh, add a new button we have some uh, nice task uh, here so I will show you how to do these things so the let's plus uh, let's call it I don't know what name I gave it should be consistent with your naming of classes and no matter what variable you use button type maybe primary and then assign okay so let's check this out mm. Text align center. Mm. 
Um, what is it's here actually? You can see that's a minus in zero. No, it doesn't work. Um, okay. okay, let's keep it this way instead. And give a margin top of 10 pixel only okay never mind for that so we have or we can have it here okay it doesn't really matter let's have something here uh is sending I mean sending is something like just a boolean we should show some loading so we can say sending to the server or not so let's say sending to the server is false you can name this variable the way you want so I will say loading will be true when uh, is sending is true and the button should be disabled when we send uh, sending we can change the text however we want but I'm not doing it now uh, you can do so and then we can do a click assign rules okay so let's go ahead and have a one more method so async and then what I'm going to do is uh, uh, you see we have there's resources so what I can uh, so is I can show you something very nice is that okay this dot resources so you will be able to see uh, all of the permission that have been given okay so if I click it on here 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 okay and then click here you will see I have all this permission here I can see okay my resource name is tag and my page name is uh, tag so uh, yeah here if we go to that uh, let me do one more thing assign assign so if we see the fifth item this one uh, resource name is assign rule okay resource name is assign rule and then uh, the page name is actually this is this has to be same as the page name okay uh, because we will check dynamically whether you can go to this page or not so this name is really important and then we can see the permission we have given only the read and write permission so you can write you can read so this is the way I can actually track all of this information very nicely so that's really awesome now let's update this information uh, smoothly what you can do is you can uh, stringify this information so that you can actually uh, make it nice uh, I mean you can compress it so let's stringify this information before we actually uh, input this data into our database okay the, it will be plain text right so yeah you can do this as a JSON as well it's completely up to you but it's a good thing to do uh, in a stringify so this dot resources okay now what I am going to do is that I will uh, call my server as a point this dot uh, call API and then what I can do is I can call my server add I can call assign rules and the method can be actually post the first one is the method and in the next one we can see okay what we have if, if we go to our rule table we will see permissions so what I have to do is that I can say okay permission is this dot okay permission is there okay permission is this data that we have taken all of these array items and uh, stringified them and then we are pressing that okay so that's simple okay if res dot um, status equal equal successful which is 200 we will say this dot s which is success um, role has been assigned success okay that's pretty um, normal and awesome 
otherwise you can say okay something went actually wrong in the server so we will not let them use let the user know what's going on okay so that's pretty perfect and we were going to add that here assign a rule we can say okay go here and then assign the rule and here we can say public function assign rule we will take this instance we will do this normal validation as well whenever you do some writing to your database you should do your uh, uh, validation correctly so that no one should be able to mess around with your database okay so what i can do is i can say okay go to the rule table and okay we have to uh set the id okay so permission and id is this dot data dot id and oh yes okay so we don't need a rule name here okay we don't need a rule name here so we just need to pass the id okay that's all we need and then you can say okay our id is also recovered rule and then we can start okay give me uh, the rule row where id is equal request dot id and then simply update my permission so update uh, method takes an array and we can say update my permission to this permission okay so that's simply awesome and perfect so we have our the rule permission installed and let's go ahead and check our uh, database here rule start come on yeah so we have a rules tables and none of this rule has a permission so they are now currently so we are we have selected admin so admin has an id so we are giving all the access to admin read read write so all of this access we are giving so let's refresh this page and uh, try again read this one by default made true so that's why it was selected okay yeah we should have an option that says okay make all of them true but never mind for that so assign this rule so rule has been assigned successfully one so if i come here i should be able to see the rules uh, in the text field is it uh, uh, just on stringify text so what i have to do now if i do a refresh i will see all of these things is gone so that is totally wrong what i have to do is that if i am an admin and if if admin has some rule assigned what i have to do is i have to uh i have to update these things okay so let's uh, let's go ahead and take that so what I have to do is if, if we have a, a rules length, then we can check another condition. Okay, if we have a, a permission as well. Okay, so if we check, uh, we will check if we have a permission null or not. So yeah, we will check if rest dot data zero dot uh, permission. Uh, if uh, if we have the permission, then we will see. We will say okay this dot resources update my resources to um, uh, just on we will need to parse the JSON data because it was uh, uh, assigned so normally what I'm saying is that okay uh, if I have the permission then parse this data and assign to these uh, resources array so that my new data will be overridden okay uh, the old data will be overridden with the new data. Okay, so here we might not have the permission So we have to uh, check uh, explicitly if we have the permission or not. Okay, so there you go First we check okay, if we we'll have the length and then if we have the permission then if we have the permission then uh, If we have the permission then we will actually assign that permission and Override that okay, so that's simple, right? So let's go ahead and do these things Okay, let's see if we have an error here. So I think we have an error. 
uh, no, it's uh, simply fine. You see, we have a perfect permission here. So, yeah, if I update these thing, two things now, and if I say, and if I do refresh, I should be able to see all of them except these two. So, it's all working super, super fine. Now, what I have to do is I have to change them if you click on uh, here for the different uh, uh, route. Okay, so I will do this in the next video. When, uh, when I will change this, this permission will also change and we will be able to update the, their permissions as well okay so that's super simple will be okay we are uh, really progressing ahead okay thank you guys for watching please subscribe share this video and if you have question go ahead in our facebook group and ask your question thank you guys have a nice time bye